everybody. Happy Friday. We're live with the Produce Moms today. We're doing grilled mango salsa. If you can hear me and can see me, give me a heart, show me some love, give me some likes, let me know that you're there. Okay, all right, perfect. Thank you guys so much. Welcome, it's episode 16. Can you believe that? I mean, this season has just been amazing, full of good eats. And today I've got something near and dear to my heart to share with you guys. It's warm weather outside, so that means it's grilling season. I know we're inside of a kitchen right now, but you can take this from inside to outside. As long as you've got a grill pan or a hot grill, you can make this salsa. It's delicious. We've got mangoes, tomatoes, jalapenos, shallots, cilantro. It's tasty and easy to make. So I've already started warming up my grill pan to get that ready to grill this salsa up. But I'm gonna start out with my mango. I've got a nice ripe mango. It smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. Mm. So the one thing about the mango that you wanna do is you wanna find the seed. It's, it's got a really big seed. It's not like other uh, produce where it has a really big seed. So you can go down the line and fill and find the seed here. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna slice off one edge. You see that? That's part of the seed there. And slice off the other edge. It's gorgeous. It smells so good. And then I'm going to just gently guide down the sides. If you're there, make sure that know that you can leave us comments and questions during the broadcast and I'll answer them throughout, okay? All right, so we've got that all cleaned up. Now the seed, I can feel it, it's right here. It's a little hard, if you press down into the mango, you'll see that it's right there, it's a little hard spot. We don't want that part, that's actually the seed of the mango. So we're gonna cut away from the mango, from the seed. Let's get the rest of that off of there. Okay, so I want this delicious part. I'm gonna set that on my plate, cause we're gonna grill that up. That's the fun thing about life. <laughs> Stuff like that happens. You see how juicy that is? This juice is gonna be perfect in this salsa. Just get all that extra off. Lori says, did you know that the mango is the most popular fruit in the world? I believe it, cause I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I buy it frozen so that I can eat it all year round. I love it, it's delicious. So again, like I said, we're just gonna cut that away from the seed. Come on, buddy. All right. So we've got the recipe calls for a large mango, and I'm gonna do two because I want more mango in my salsa. The more mango, the better. So again, cut off those ends. And just peel away. And you can also use your peeler for this if you'd like. Since I have my knife here, I figure I might as well just do it while I have it. So how I came up with this salsa, in an effort as a mom to get my daughter to eat more fruits and vegetables, and she likes the grill because her peepaw grills a lot, so she'll eat something that peepaw has grilled. So I said, well, let me try that. Let mommy try to make something on the grill. And you know, it was sweet, it was tangy, it wasn't too spicy for her. I just gave her some without the jalapeno, and she liked it. If you, I tell you, if you put it on something, a vehicle for food, little kids will eat it. I, I stand by that. All right, guys. This juicy mango. Mm. It smells so good, you guys. All right. So I'm gonna take these mango slices that we have here. I'm gonna toss that one in the bowl. And I'm gonna take them over to the hot grill pan that I've got warmed up for you guys. Boom. Boil that up. Patricia says hello. Hi, Tricia. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. 
So what you wanna do is add your mango slices and you're gonna grill them about three to five minutes until they have defined grill marks. All right. So we're gonna let those grill and while those are grilling, I'm gonna get started on the rest of the salsa. I'm just gonna clean off my cutting board. Okay, so this salsa calls for a large Roma tomato, the juice of one lime, one jalapeno, about a third a cup of cilantro, and a large shallot. The shallots this year were kind of tiny, so I had to get grab two. And I like to use a shallot in this salsa because it's a lot more milder than a red onion. Typically, you'd see a red onion in salsa, but my go-to is a shallot, so that's why I grab it. So I'm just gonna start by building the salsa. So Adam wants to know, does grilling bring out the sweetness in the mangoes? Grilling definitely elevates the sweetness of the flavor. It actually gives it a little smoky, charry kind of flavor too. It's really fun. And you'll see the, the grilling will actually cause the mango to caramelize a little bit. Thank you for asking that question, Adam. I think Adam watches every week. Thank you, Adam. We appreciate you. So I'm just dicing up this shallot. Like I said, I like to use a shallot because it's a milder flavor than a red onion. Some people kind of have an aversion to the onion flavor and this is a little lighter. Candace, could you do this on a one sheet pan underneath the broiler? Oh, you totally can. That's actually very smart. Um, if you wanted to actually make it like a roasted salsa, you could chop up all of these ingredients, roast them all together and then make that salsa. I bet that would be amazing. You guys are giving me more ideas in the kitchen. I appreciate that. Thank you. Lori says she always gnaws on the mango seed and eats the fruit attached to the seed like corn on the cob. <laughs> I like that, Lori. I can totally see you doing that. That's hysterical. Yeah, I like that. You know, it's actually, mango was actually another first food for my daughter. Um, I would let it get really ripe and just allowed her to chew on that as well when she was teething. Something sweet, something good, and, you know, pretty tasty for them to help, you know, those little gums that are sore and all you know it's an awesome idea yes it really yeah produce actually saved our life when my daughter was teething that was the one thing that that she would that i knew that you know wouldn't bother her and she could enjoy it and it made me feel better <laughs> so wanda agrees with you she says i love grilled fruit yeah, grilled fruit is tasty and it's perfect because spring is finally here in indiana right okay so we've got our shallot chopped up and now I'm gonna dice up a Roma tomato. This one doesn't have too many seeds. Normally I'd seed it too, but this one doesn't actually have too many. So I'm just gonna toss them all in with the salsa. Mm, and I can smell the sugars caramelizing on our mangoes, guys. I'm going to go flip them in a second. It smells amazing. And normally I'd use a serrated knife for this, but, you know, hey, we're here today. <laughs> the cool thing about this recipe is that not only can you use it as a dip or, you know, an appetizer. You can serve it over grilled chicken, you can serve it over grilled fish, over shrimp. It works well with a numerous amount of items. So do you think any sort of tomato will work here? Uh, I like the Roma for this one. I like the Roma, but you know, you could, you could do others. You could do uh, um, the Blue Boy. You could do a couple of others. You could even do grape tomatoes if you want it. But I like the Roma for this one just because of their heartiness and their flavor. The tomatoes this year have been really good already. I'm really excited about that. Okay, so while that's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and flip our mangoes. Oh yeah, grill marks. Oh yeah. It looks like a couple people are saying that mangoes are always in season they, you know, <laughs> because they're grown in the tropics. Because they're grown in the tropics. This is true. But you know, there's nothing like 
a super fresh first of the season mango. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn that down and let that other side cook. Again, you wanna let those grill for about three, about three minutes, just so the grill marks are well defined. All right, I'm gonna chop up the rest of our tomato. So once you make this, you will find yourself craving mango salsa. It's one of those things that first the spring, I know a couple of restaurants that have it and they make it and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm ready for it. So then I just go to the store, make up some mango salsa. I'll probably make it several times a week. Right now, we're addicted to blue corn chips in my family. So we've been eating a lot of blue corn chips and a lot of salsa. And you can dice this as fine or as chunky as you like. I like a hearty salsa, so I like to keep them about a one inch to a half inch chunks and cubes. And it's really pretty too. It's one of those things that you can eat the rainbow, as we like to say with the produce mom. The more colorful your food, the better. So it looks like a couple of our viewers agree that they would eat this by the spoonful. I'm telling you, it's, it is just that tasty. It is really, it's just that good. It looks guys. good. It looks that good. Thank you guys for joining in and tuning us. We really appreciate it. We hope you're getting a lot of fun stuff out of our produce mom lives. Okay, so we've got our tomatoes. We've got our shallot. I'm now gonna take a jalapeno. Now, if you like the heat, you can leave the seeds. I like it a little bit of spicy, but not too much. So the whole cool way, to, that's where the heat comes from in a jalapeno, it's from the seeds. So if you don't want the heat, by all means, take it by the membrane, see that middle part there? And just kind of scoop that out. And remember to wash your hands when you're done and do not touch your eyes. <laughs> so yeah, that's where that heat comes from, from that membrane in the jalapeno. So I just take my knife and get that all out. So Lori would like to know, can you blend this? Can you blend it? Like use an immersion blender. You could probably do that and make it more of a, um, a... Almost like a not, mango not, gazpacho or yeah, something. Yeah, like a gazpacho <laughs> or something like that. I mean, because I know that some sauces are not as chunky. You know, but um, you could totally blend this up if you'd like to. That that would be fun. Um, serve it as a cold gazpacho. That's a really cool idea, Alex. Thank you. I love yeah. that. Yeah, that's perfect for the season as well. By any means necessary, right? All right, so I'm getting those seeds out of that jalapeno because I do not want the super duper spice and I'm going to serve it to my littles. I'm just going to dice that up. So Casey agrees with me that your earrings are to die for, Thank by the way. Thank you, guys. Right, the show. Thank you. Those are the cutest I'm things. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lori told me that the earrings are my thing and that I have to wear different, that I have to wear my cute ones. It's kind of, you know, when you don't have a lot of hair on your head, you got to do something, right? <laughs> so earrings are my thing. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate that. So I just diced up that jalapeno. And again, you can make it as chunky or as fine as you like. This jalapeno smells amazing. Which way do you prefer? Sort of chunkier? Or I like a chunkier salsa because I want something that's going to hold onto my chip and make me go, ah. that's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, so I'm going to grab our mangoes. got our grilled mangoes and you typically want to let these cool down a bit before you chop them unless you're you know, used to working with hot food right off the grill. Um, like I always say you want to let your food rest a little bit to let the juices redistribute so that's one way we like to let it rest. So I'm going to take my mango here and you just want to dice it up. Still a little warm but not too warm. Use my tongs to help me out a little bit. 
this mango is super ripe, you guys, and it smells so good. But it's got that smoky charred flavor that you get when you put something sweet on the grill. It's all going in my belly. <laughs> so do you think you could use any sort of pepper? You know, you know um, for a little bit. I've tried more this with or less yeah. heat. I've tried this with a serrano. Um, I have not tried it with a pavano, but when I thought about it, I said, oh, I bet a pavano would be really nice. Or maybe you could serve it inside of a, of a pavano and, you know, make that a dish, a nice vegetarian dish. That would be something tasty. I could see going for. Yeah. It's all about your level of heat and how much, you know, you like to deal with. I'm a whip. <laughs> so the jalapeno was kind of my first uh, choice. But hey, if you like the spicy, go for it. So what about putting these mangoes on something like a burger? Oh, you could totally do like a, you know, you see a pineapple on a burger. You could totally grill up a mango steak and uh, put that on top of your burger as a nice garnish. I would love that. I bet that would be amazing with a grilled pork burger maybe. That would be delicious. I think that would be just delicious. Ooh, Joy likes the idea of a grilled grilled uh, mango also. Yes. They haven't I've, thought of that before. Yeah, that, I'm telling you, just any way that you can get these delicious fruits and vegetables more into your diet, the better, right? Okay. So we've got the juice of one lime, and I like to roll it just to get the juices kind of distributed through there. Got a couple of folks that think that uh, like a hatch pepper, roasted hatch pepper would be oh, really good. Oh yes, I love roasted hatch peppers. The only thing is the season is so short for those. They're so good though, but the, se the season is so short, so I kind of always miss out unless I can just go right in. It looks like Pamela's lucky because she's in Austin. Oh, Pamela. So I think she's got hatch peppers oh, like all the time. Oh, delicious peppers, Pamela. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for tuning in. Just squeezing the juice of the lime in there. Then I think if you're looking for something a little bit less with less heat, Lori suggests a, um, a bell pepper. Oh, a, be a bell pepper would be nice as well, too. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe a red bell pepper or a yellow bell pepper. Again, make it colorful. It's up to you. My, the recipe is just a guideline. Go for it. So we've got the juice of one lime, and we've got about a third a cup of cilantro. Freshly chopped this morning. It smells delicious. And you know I always say unseasoned food will not prosper. So we've got a couple of pinches of salt, and I've got some smoked paprika here just to give it a nice little well-rounded flavor. So easy peasy, right? We're gonna mix all this together. And it's gorgeous and it smells amazing. One of the commenters says, this seems like uh, such a better sweet condiment than anything you'd find processed in the grocery yes, store. Yes, yes, very much so. Very much so. The sweetness of the mango is perfect. There's no preservatives, you made it fresh. And there we well, go. Well, you didn't guys. add any extra sugar to that I didn't either, add, did you? No extra sugar, none of that. It's all, the sweetness comes directly from the produce, from it the mango. It smells amazing, you guys. Okay, you guys. So, we got a nice bowl of salsa here. I've got some delicious blue corn chips. I am going to dig in. You can always decide if you want to season more with it. Let's see here. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. The perfect amount of sweet. The perfect amount of spicy. The crunchiness of the chips just make it perfect. But again, serve this over chicken, over pork, in a pepper. Delicious, you guys. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm gonna go back in with another chip. <laughs> Cause it's just perfect. Mm. Ooh, someone had the great idea of a chicken wrap, like mm. in a chicken wrap. I could totally mm, see that in a chicken wrap. It's okay, perfect. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. Mm. Mm. Delicious, you guys. 
So again, this has been the Produce Moms Live on Facebook on Friday. We did a grilled mango salsa. We'll link the recipe for you guys in the comments. Make it. It's delicious. It's perfect. I love it, and I think you will too. If you have any other questions, please feel free. I'd love to answer them. We talk back. We make friends. Um, looks like, let's see here, a new summer staple, Candlest's Grilled Mango, mango Salsa, um, ooh, or on top of a crunchy romaine salad. Yes, definitely. Doesn't that sound good? It's perfect. It's perfect. I mean, that in itself is a salad right there. Again, thank you guys for joining. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Grab the recipe in the comments and join us next week. Thank you again for